and in most cases what you need is a clean geometry a model something that has been textured and that has materials running through its veins and you just want to get it directly from the internet and put it in your scene without doing so many tweaks and today we're going to take a look at two websites where you can find free blender models that you can use totally for free all textured material and ready to go all you need to do is import these files and hit the render button Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today is another interesting episode of Free Friday and today we're looking at two awesome websites where you can get free 3D models and you can use them for free. Now the cool thing with these websites is they have one cool stuff in common which is the fact that most of the files that they have here, they are native Blender files that have been shaded and you know they're just ready for you to go through and hit render and do whatever you want now we're going to start off with one where we're going to talk about all the things you need to know about that before we move to the second one where you're going to find awesome stuff that you can work with so we're starting off with the very first one that has to do with the resource.blogscopia.com this is more like a blog site that has been created by a blender user known as Carlos Flotch and he did not just create this alone he created this website in partnership with other 3d modelers working in a different company altogether now we're going to look at a couple of things before you get started with this first things first has to do with the license the models you have here are totally free and it's actually stated in the license directly here that all of the models that you have directly here you can use them for free you can copy you can distribute you can transmit this work and also choose to change whatever you want in here so it doesn't restrict you with certain stuff at the same time it's also good to note that some of the models that you have directly here are done alongside sweet home 3d developers and also you'll be able to find textures that you can use and one of the cool things i love about this website is when you go through to download the simple model you're going to get a concrete information about what the model is what and what this model can be rendered with and when you choose to download these you'll be able to download them in both 3ds obj blender and sweet home 3d file format can also notice that they do have tags so you can also switch by tags and search things by tags and this makes a lot of sense i mean i love the fact that these things are you know intertwined in ways that you can find and they all have uvs on them and they're just ready you know just ready to go at any point in time you can just simply hit the button and just get things going for you there is a huge button here that says download all the models and once you go ahead and hit this button you will be able to download all of the models with a simple wish list that is attached to this now this is going to give you a zip file that contains every single model that you have and you can now choose to donate to the creators as much as you want you can choose to download every single thing as one zip file and support the artist or you can choose to take the other route which is simply downloading these things individually also enlist yourself within the newsletter so once there is a new model you get an email and you can actually do that directly from here so once there is a new model or a new texture you'll be able to be notified and speaking about the textures they do have certain textures that we're going to take a look at but the textures are not as much as you know the textures that we can get from sharedtextures.com which are one of our partners and i'm also going to put a link in the description where you can find some very cool textures and at the same time if you want to check out some other videos where we talked about where you can get free textures and you know free materials also go through check out the link in the description so you can find those and for this particular website most of the models that they have are only targeted towards the cycle rendering engine so in case you want to try using ev this might come with a bit of a heartache but then of course course you can go through and play with the materials and see how you can get good with that and if you're trying to get into materials and you have issues with that we do have a video that covers that and i'm also going to link that in the description and pretty nice you can take a look at the models yourself and see how interesting you can get these things to work for you so let's take a look at the second website which is known as blenderboom.com so in blenderboom.com things are done a little bit different in the sense that you need things called credits for you to actually purchase most of the assets that they have here and they do have 3d scanned assets which makes a lot of sense because you can see how realistic they look and you can use them for practically so many things that is if you can get your hands on them which brings me to number three but before we get to number three let's talk about number two number two is that you can actually download some free models that they've made available and all of these models are interesting and very high quality and you can see them directly here so it just makes a lot of sense for you guys to come try this tool out and the cool thing with the blenderboom.com is once you select a model that you want to download of course you're going to get exactly the same thing that you're getting from the blogspot 
which has to do with the description, the format, the size, and also the renderer of choice which you can use. And this is also Blender based in the sense that most of the native files that you have here are all for Blender. So you don't need to go through and start setting things up. You can just simply append this to your scene, link it to your scene, or open this in a brand new scene and just get going. One of the awesome things with this website is the fact that they do have a blog. And this is something I really wish so many other websites do have, which actually goes in a slight detail to tell you or you know show you how you can get things up and running in terms of rendering and in terms of using so many other 3D features that exist directly in Blender. And to me, this is an extra step of service that you know this website offers that most of the other websites do not offer. And I love this one so much. So if you go over to the Blogspot, you will be able to find some of these things and you can leverage of them and get things going. Now, speaking about the third part, which I said I was going to talk about, it has to do with you purchasing some of these things that has to do with credit. Now, most of the things that you have here are so good. They look very realistic. But the fun fact about it is you need to buy credit, which for now credits are not available on this website as they have not included the credit system to start working. But you can see that there's a structure in place which says available soon. And you know, there is already a defined structure on how you can go through with the credit system. But right now credit on this website is not available which you know kind of sucks but then for you to be able to get those free ones makes a lot of sense you can use all of these models that we've talked about today for free and you can use them for anything that you want at the same time it's also worth mentioning that regardless of the 3d field that you're in or the application that you use there is a whole lot of free friday content that we have on the channel so you can go ahead and check these things out and see which one best suits what you're looking for and that's going to be about it guys the internet is here you're there go through download these things and use them totally for free i'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video you learned something from it go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with your friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next free friday the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace